Hi everybody, it's Gwen. I'm back. Gwen the Crafty Lady, I'm back. Um, I did do a few little things, but then I also left some to show you how we do it. We're going to start putting the pages in the book. Now, you have to close up this flap. Close it up like so and put uh, wet glue on the side because you're going to put tags in here. And you don't want them sticking. You don't put any glue in here just on the outer side because when you fold that's secure. Then when we start putting them in the book you're going to put wet glue here. Because when this folds up you want this secure, this secure because you're going to, this is a this is a pocket where you're going to put your cards and they go all the way to the bottom and you don't want them sticking in tape. Tape never dries. Wet glue dries. So I left a couple of them here, here to show you how I did the flap. You need one of these. I just got this from scrap a dab -a -doo, the fine line applicator. It is unbelievable. In fact, quite frankly, it's such a fine line, I sometimes don't get enough glue. And it's got this needle. Let's see. It's got this needle on the end. You fill up, you fill the bottle up with your own glue. This has that Scott's quick glue in it. There is the needle that I'll show you here in a minute. And then the top also has a little needle type thing and it fits down in like so and consequently it keeps it from clogging up. It does not, a friend of mine, uh, Carol that owns uh, scrap it ever do also puts glossy accents in here. I love to use it. I despise to use it because it's constantly clo uh, clogged up. I constantly cut the tip off till I don't have anything to use, etc. So I have two of them she sent me and I'm going to put glossy accents in the other one. So you'll really like it and it doesn't clog. Okay, so you open up your flap and you just put a bead of glue, fine bead of glue, not too much, down the side, down both sides. See how fine that is? See how fine that is? And fold it up and of course hold it a minute till it sets. You do that on all. I did it on all of them, but these two. I wanted to show you how I did it. Let that set up. Put a fine bead of glue down the side. I kind of messed that. I have sometimes. I say not put enough on. It's come loose. So because, but see how nice that is, and you don't. It'll spread some, of course, but not a lot. And you don't have to deal with that. Uh, 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 you don't have to deal with the uh, with the over. Okay, they're all glued down. I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna take a drink of tea. It's hard work. Now, I tape my hinges with score tape. I just find it easier for me, and then I chamfer the ends or I miter the ends. I, you know, you could certainly lose, use glue. You have a little bit more wiggle room, which is true, uh, but I don't have a problem with it, and I think it just goes a little faster. But I put tape on both sides of the hinge. I was calling these fans. I'm going to call these hinges. And they are hinges. And they derived from the hidden hinge. Kathy's hidden hinge. Uh, but this, I'm not calling it mine. It's not mine. It's everybody's. I put stuff, of course, I got on my on my blog. You, you know, I go to my blog. I've got a lot of projects, new and old and things uh, that I've made. They're everybody's. You can make, copy, whatever you want. I don't have patterns. I tell you, I'm not real good at writing uh, cutting guides and supply guides. I've had... <laughs> A bit of a problem with that on my Ustream program. Now I'm going to put the tape on the back side and then I'm going to go chamfer the corners or miter the corners. 
these are cut the size to size on my page. However, I still minor the corner to eliminate some bulk, and I think it looks a little neater if you have. I mean, you don't really see it, I guess. But so I'm putting this tape on both sides of our hinge. A lot of the designers and the crafters and whatever are in Washington, D.C. area, exactly where they're having um, Jim the Gentleman Crafter, Kathy Orta, uh, Catherine, the Scrap Beach Catherine. Uh, of course, a lot of your designers or and or your uh, like our scrap a dab -a doo gal Carol is out there. And uh, I know one of our designers is out there, uh, Sandra. I don't know how many, but there's, I don't know how many out there for, I think, till Sunday. Uh, it's not a convention per se, and it's all geared towards steampunk. They have made costumes, they're going to have a fashion show. Uh, they've made, and the, and the reason I'm doing the little hat mini for our stay and play. We call it stay and play. I think it's stay and play. And there's we're staying, we're not going, and we're going to play while one of the cats away, the mice are going to play. There again, there it is. I take both sides of now I'm going to go back very quickly and and just trim off these corners because I just personally I'm going to use the other scissors. I just like them better after they're mitered. Oh, I'm sorry. Dead air, as they call it. I'm just mitering these corners. You could do it before you put it down. Might be easier, quite frankly. You still got plenty of hinge. So there they are, all nice and mitered. And see how see how it looks through there. Great system, I think, and I've, I've used several. Uh, I like it the best. I like it the best. Okay, now I've got to see what I'm going to decide to call the front and the back. <laughs> Gosh, I don't think it matters. I like that darker on the front than that, I think, or do you? Well, see, I think I'm going to need you so you could say. I think I like the darker. I think we'll use we'll use this as our front. Now I start at the back, uh, so I want this as my first page. So I'm going to turn these over. Now I really don't have them in any real order per se, but let me look real quick. Sometimes. Okay, that's fine. I'll turn them over. I do want that one for my first page. Uh, I pull off one side of the tape. Pull off one side of the tape. Then you, this is opened up, and you take and you lay this right at, right at the base. Uh, oh wait a minute! I got something in there. I gotta get out some tape. Lay this right at the base. Oh, I can't I don't get it where I want it. Because when I do the others, when I do the others, I've got the uh, score line. I'm going to, and then you tape it down. There you go. Now see, it's like this. Now it's like this. 
you're going to fold this over. However, you're going to put a glue line, a bead of glue along this side. I do this side, it doesn't matter. But I do this side and fold that over. Take your tape uh, backing off. Push this down because you want that glued shut because this is this is your pocket right here. Okay, so we take the tape backing off. Get your little glue. Well, you can do either one. It doesn't matter. I usually do this side. And what I did, I let that sit there because it does not clog up. I let it sit there. I let it sit there without the... Okay. Put, I always kind of... I'm shocked, Frank. I always kind of hold it up, bring that in, sides together, and stick this down, and kind of hold that uh, like you do the sides so it'll stick. Sometimes I put uh, clamps on it. I did the other day. I had trouble with it. Just kind of clamp it if you want to. Okay, let's do another one. I did. I let that set without the... Uh, Top on. I don't know what I'm doing with my top. Where's my top? What is? Oh, yeah. Where is it? Great. Now I don't know where my top is. Oh, pull off your tape backing. Now this is easier than the first one because you just bring it up to the score line. And tape and make sure it lines up with your other page. Take take your glue on a bead of glue. Put enough glue it'll stick. That's what I had the other day. It was it didn't stick. Pull off your tape backing and stand this kind of stand it up. Bring it down and stick it down. And that's what I like about the score tape putting these down is it just catches it's there you know and that's kind of my thing you don't have to unless you don't get enough tape but you want to make sure that sticks pull off your backing again the same thing your next page just line that up with your score line stand, kind of stand it up a little bit make sure it's even Tape it down. Run your bead of glue. Now this is going to stand. I mean, these are not going to lay real flat right right away, but they certainly will after they sit and they're used and you get other embellishments. Now we're going to uh, stand it up, catch it, and fold it down. They say I sometimes don't get enough um, on there and it doesn't stick. Okay. Pop your tape backing. I have three of them on. The page. Set it right in that groove. Sure, it's lined up. I'll stand it up a little bit and catch it. See, it's like this. Pull off your tape backing. I've been using everything to pull this off. I'm losing everything. Take your bead of glue and run across the bottom of the page, either side. Doesn't matter. I just always kind of use that side. Stand it up. Fold it down. Pinch that bottom together and run your finger along that fin. And there you go. Stick it down. All of a sudden it's coming together, isn't it? Well, after seven things, okay, we're almost finished. Put this, so it's like this. Turn it over. Put this in here. Just make sure it's lined up. I got one of my uh, gals one reason I'm doing this because she wants to make this and she doesn't make a lot of 
minis. And she, you know, she didn't have the first part. I had the part was still left. You could see. I had two or three parts. It was only a couple minutes long. And then my recording, fold it down, pitch it together, and stick it down. My recording would stop recording. And then I would re, -re you know, I'd start recording again. But I had about four or five. And on, on Ustream, you can go. I go two, two and a half hours every time. And uh, so it cut off so much of it. And then the very first one is the one that I lost. Okay, here we go. This is the last one. You look at the side. This is the front. You put it in here like so. Kind of stand it up. Stick it down. Put your glue in along here. Put another little stick. Pull off your tape backing. Stand it up. Bring it down. You make sure this is lined up on the end. I mean on the bottom. Pinch it down real well on this bottom. Because that's the glue. This is stuck. This is there. And there we are. You don't have to put those on. A, that one. To, and then go back and kind of. Now. It's like this. Well I guess it does kind of stand up a little bit, but it's okay. I thought it would settle down. I did a waterfall folio book the other day, and the waterfall stuck up, stood up. And then, you know, after it set overnight. But you can press this down and kind of press it down if you want. There is, there's our book. There's the back. There's the front. You open it. Here's your little pockets. Here's your little pockets. Here's your little pocket up here. The back of the page. There are six of them. Aren't they pretty? This is the prettiest paper. I love this paper. Now, we're going to embellish each page. And the front, especially. I don't. You can do the spine if you want. I don't do much other than you could still go back and on the third page, the center, still go back in there and punch a hole. I got a a punch. Martha Stewart makes one too. You can punch any place on the page, uh, and I've got the the big crocodile and and all that. But you couldn't use that crocodile now. I don't think. I want to turn that off. Um, There, uh, and to put a you know buy thing for your um, charms, you know that type of thing. Uh, okay, now let's see. This is was number five, seven. We're gonna be. Oh, I don't believe this. I you know that, that one gal that she did the the paper side loaded paper bag whatever. I loved it. I made it. Oh, there's my thing. I gotta put this on my. That's what keeps it, and I I let that sit too long. Put that in, close it up, and it does not clog up. That clogged a little bit back, and that was my fault because I didn't have that in there. Um, okay. See, here they are. Look, aren't they cute? Oh. Uh. I'm gonna we're gonna start embellishing here. I'm gonna cut out the tags. Uh, and then now I yeah, I'm gonna cut out the tags while we're only got another minute or so. I'm gonna cut out the tags and punch hole. You, you, you pretty well know how to do that. I'm not gonna do this right now. Uh, as I say, I run this on my computer. Uh, put a little chicken on the top to match the chickens, but you can run this on. I take a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. I cut it in six. I, I make 12 four by six little jobs out of them, and I run them through my computer. Like I, I sometimes use uh, uh, index cards and whatever for certain things, but this is just cardstock, and then I do it on my Word 
processor, run it through. I rounded the edges. This was originally four by six, and I made it fit and rounded the edges. These tags are seven and a quarter. The tags are, no, I'm sorry, six and a quarter by three and an eighth. Six and a quarter by three and an eighth, uh, which is not a number eight tag, but, and then you, you need uh, uh, 12 of them. Now, I got two colors here. I use yellow and green, and then I've got, uh, I only need, you only need six of these big tags, and I just did those in the rust. They are, they measure uh, seven by three and a half, the big ones, seven by three and a half. You only need six of those. They go in the top. They're for journaling. or uh, So I think I'll cut my tags, uh, do my little holes. I'm not going to do maybe the ribbon yet. Uh, and then I think when I come back, uh, we're going to start the embellishing with, uh, with the front of the look. I only did the front because these are chipboards. Uh, now, these chipboards were chipboard pieces that were already on chipboard that came with the collection. This wasn't. It's on chipboard, but I made it. It was a sticker. I took a piece of chipboard and put some rust paper on it and then rounded the edges and then put it on with uh, tape, uh, foam tape. Uh, this one I made as well. It was a cut apart. I put a little thing on it. Brad. This I made with the little chickens, and then I put this little medallion on it. That was part of the chipboard. This wasn't. So I don't have a lot of chipboard pieces. I don't have any chipboard pieces that goes with this collection. So we are going to make a lot of them. Uh, 22 minutes. I'm going to go. We'll be back with number eight. I'll be back in a little bit.